Hello all, welcome back. In last class, we have learned about the local queue, and we see that how the we create the local queue, and we learnt more few properties of the local queue. Today we are going to learn one of the important queue that the alias queue, and see their properties and how to create the alias queue. We'll see here. Let's come on the. Uh, uh, what is alias queue? Alias queue is just like a local queue, uh, but it has a. It is not actually the real queue. It is a the queue having no space, having no storage location. Uh, let me create the queue alias queue and show you. This is the, uh, already so that this is the queue manager and last day we have created that the queue, the local queue. Let me create to, for creation of the new uh, alias queue. So to just click right click on the queue new and the alias queue here you have to give the alias queue name let me put the name queue max to dot alias you can put any name as you wish uh, for now i am putting the simple name that the queue manager name dot alias and uh, in similar manner here the, there is also is default properties defined by the IBM for that queue the system dot default dot LDI dot queue and from that queue it will it will inherit the property the queue that uh, we are going to made and the all default properties will be taken from that queue click on next here you will get the some properties here the queue type is alias description you can put any let me put the uh, alias alias queue for x2 okay here put and get in last edge in local queue you also see the put message and get message put messages to put the message into queue and get message to get out of the message from the queue also default persistent type you can non persistent persistent is also there you can put let me put the persistent and also you can see here there is options of base object that is used to point to other queue i will uh, i will used here uh, let me queue uh, use the the local queue that i made to use as a base object this object let me key queue max to dot local Uh, let me click on finish you can see the alias queue has been created the alias queue is just like a pointer let me let me uh, uh, explain you in detail so that you know more about that uh, this is the latest example this is alias queue alias queue And this is pointing to a local queue it can point to a local queue or a remote queue whatever you want and as soon as yeah, we put application puts a message to that queue it message will go to the local queue or remote queue or whatever you pointed here in this case if you see alias queue alias queue having the uh, base object is the local queue that is the this one local queue and as soon as we put message in alias queue message will go to the uh, local queue you, also you can see here it is not a real queue we use as a but an object that you can use to access another queue we use to point to other queue it is like a local queue we cannot store data in alias queue there is a as like in uh, alias queue you, a local queue you can see here there is a storage location of 5000 but here you can see there is no storage location there is no such options of storage location because it don't it does not have any storage location it is just as a pointer act as a pointer it is used to point other queue in, in this case it is act as a pointer for this queue whatever message will came put one to here it will come to here next 
इट इज एक्ट एज ए पॉइंट क्यू इज टू पॉइंट लोकल क्यू ए सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द अलियाज क्यू लोकल क्यू एंड रिमोट क्यू वट एवर यू पॉइंट देर टू मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द अलियाज क्यू यू मस्ट नीड टू नो लेट यू फर्स्ट पुट ए मैसेज इन टू दैट क्यू एंड सी इन वट एवर वी लेट यू क्लियर दैट मैसेज क्लियर लेट यू पुट वन मैसेज इन टू द अलियाज क्यू I have put in one message. Let me put one other message. I have just put two messages here in Aliyah's queue, and as Aliyah's queue is pointing to that local queue, Aliyah's queue is pointing to this queue. The message will go to that queue. If I let refresh, two messages came here. Just see exactly that message is there or not. You see. A A A N P P P. That's message came here. So whatever message is sent to the alias queue, that will go to the local queue because alias queue is pointing to that local queue. Now, now let's uh, come to another properties. Uh, why why we we are using alias queue? Uh, because here in this case, situation is like that. Application A in sending some information to the alias queue. And alias queue sending this message to the local queue, and local queue again this send uh, sending message to the uh, application B. So here why there here one question came must be came must be came to your mind that uh, why application A is sending to alias queue not the local queue or remote queue because uh, they can also send application also can send the directly to local queue. But we are putting alias queue before the application, and then alias queue putting the message to local queue because this the there is security reason. Application we wants the application A don't know about the local queue. He wants the application A only know about the alias queue, and uh, because in case it it it's increase the security layer because our local queue have some messages. Storage location and it can store message, but alias queue is just like a uh, pointer. It does 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 not have any storage location and it does not store any message. So when application A not know the alias queue, it will it does not do anything because our message in the local queue. So it increases the security. Main reason is security also. In there is one advantage of alias queues. So if we let's say see if I inverted the in case let's example of application B is down and it is not taking message. What we will do? It will it will message will be piled in the local queue. In case application B down, a message will be piled in the That queue, local queue, because application is putting message to the alias queue and alias queue pointing to the local queue and local queue pointing to the application B. But application B is down, so message will be will be piled or stored here in the local queue. And we want to see what message is actually there. So in also if we, if we don't want to somehow we don't want to send. So for that we need we will do the browse message and see what message is there. But in case I want I don't want to send a, I want to this queue to be invited I don't want to send the message to the uh, uh, suppose some uh, some database issue have happened and message failing for this application and we uh, because the uh, in the system is not is down. And my messages are in system is not accepting that message that is failing to our end. Let's see example. Application B is down, so message will be failed to, at our end. To so stop, we stop. If you to stop the failing to the message at our end, we, what will we do? We will invert the gate of the queue. So the message will be not message will be stored to here. If we inverted the gate of the uh, local queue. And and the end that case, I if I want to browse the message, we don't want to browse because as per the properties uh, given by the IBM, 
for local queue if you invited the gate you will not able to browse the message so, what is the solution then solution is the if we invited the gate of the alias queue same work has been done but we can browse the message if i invited the gate of the alias queue in that case my application eb cannot take any message message will be stored at our end but we can browse the message now we can browse the message you can see i can browse that there is also let me very uh, uh, let me summarize that it is in, it is just a uh, alias queue it is used to point the queue and uh, it has be uh, we use act as a pointer here the local queue alias queue is pointing to local queue and even it can also point to remote queue and uh, whenever message is sent by the application a to the alias queue it will go to the local queue and uh, it is it is used because for the security purpose to the application a don't know about the local queue and in case some and, and, and handle apps exception occur and system is down some failure happen to avoid the failure we invited the we invite the gate of the queue so that the message will not fail at our end a little bit as soon as the in system will be up we will allow the, the queue to for the if if you want to in, allow invite the queue get invite the queue so that message will not go to the end system and also want to show what message is there so if we invite the local queue of the in then we will not able to see the message but if in case if we invite the gate of the alias queue we will able to see the message what is inside it that's about the alias queue we'll later learn more about the uh, queues and for now next lecture we will learn about the more about the other huge properties and so on